أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In this session we are going to look into one way ANOVA using SPSS how to run interpret and report one way ANOVA using SPSS Now what is one way ANOVA Now we have had different types of differential test where one sample t test was used to compare the mean of a sample to a standard value or the mean of the population if we wanted to compare two groups we used independent sample t test now what if, if we've got more than two groups and we want to compare a value across those three groups or more than three groups we are going to use one way anova one way anova is also referred to as a one way between groups anova because you will have one independent grouping variable with three or more than three levels and one dependent continuous variable now in simplest of words one way anova is used to compare scores of three or more than three groups for example an economist would like to know if there are differences in income this is your dependent variable now income of lecturers is your dependent variable which is compared across three cities so you've got three groups so cities is your grouping variable with three categories another example could be that is there a difference in optimism levels across three age levels you can have four age levels as well now here optimism score is your dependent variable which is compared across these three age levels another example could be if a manager wishes to investigate or evaluate staff satisfaction this is your criterion variable your dependent variable and you want to assess whether staff satisfaction differs across these three type of staff permanent staff part time staff and casual staff now in each of these scenarios in each of these situations you've got one dependent variable and an independent variable that has got different categories three or more categories one way anova allows checking for differences across different categories for the dependent variable it is called analysis of variance because it compares the variance variability in scores between the different groups believed to be due to independent variable for example you are interested in assessing the differences in maybe income of lecturers maybe optimism score maybe organizational commitment maybe culture within the organization anything and you think that these there are differences because whenever there is a change or whenever there is a prop a category to which a particular person or respondents belongs there would be difference for example staff satisfaction would be different for people who are in a permanent position people who are in a part time position or people who are in a casual position so the variability between the different groups is because of the independent variable now how do you do this in spss so we've got example here and this is our problem i've got this sample output how to report one way anova the problem is that we want to investigate organizational commitment and whether it differs across different levels within the organization that is junior level middle level and senior level so whether or not people in different or employees in different levels within the organization have got different levels of commitment so your level of commitment changes with your level within the organization so your level within the organization may influence your level of commitment now the hypothesis is there are significant differences in organizational commitment across different management levels so as there are changes in the management level there are changes in the level of commitment now how do we do this in spss so here is our dependent variable score of organizational commitment and here is the job rank for example an employee ranked third has this level of commitment the higher the score the higher the commitment so we go to analyze compare means one way anova 
and our dependent variable is organizational commitment our independent or factor variable is job rank and what we do is we go to options and homogeneity of variance this is important we want to check whether there is homogeneity of variance across the different groups so this is an assumption that we need to check before we do our postdoc analysis that is used to compare each of the groups like two groups together we are going to look into this uh, a little later as well so we do press continue and we press ok now let's have a look test of homogeneity of variance and your homogeneity of variance levine statistics based on the mean is significant so there are significant differences in the homogeneity of variance now we will utilize this particular test when we are doing our multiple comparisons between each of the groups so before we go into this detail let's have a look here and know what table so there are significant differences between the groups so we can say yes there are differences in organizational commitment across different levels or different management levels so overall your hypothesis is accepted you reject your null hypothesis this, that assume that there are no differences in this case your alternate is supported now let's do something else as well compare means one way ANOVA options let's have descriptives as well so we know which group has got higher level of commitment now if you look here the junior level middle level senior level now interestingly with change in the management level there is change in the commitment now junior level has got lowest commitment middle level has got higher commitment than junior level and the highest level of commitment is in this group now overall we can say yes overall we could say yes there is or there are significant differences in level of commitment across these three levels but I want to be sure I want to know whether there are significant differences between junior and middle junior and senior middle and senior now I want to compare these groups between each other like junior compared with middle middle compared with senior junior compared with senior as well now how do we do this in order to do this we have to run post hoc comparison or post hoc analysis now when we try to run post hoc analysis there is a choice that we have to make we go to post hoc now the choice is whether we choose a test from here equal variance assumed or whether we choose a test from here equal variance is not assumed now in this case based on the mean because we have a continuous dependent variable our test of homogeneity of variance is significant so we cannot say that equal variance was assumed in this case equal variances across the groups were not assumed we fail to have homogeneity of variance now in this case when the variance is not homogeneous across the groups we have to choose one test from here now in this case let's choose Dunnett T3 and we press continue and we press OK now this will give us multiple comparisons now have a look here now this gave us overall differences like overall does organizational commitment differ across groups yes it differs across groups but now I'm interested in learning about whether junior or organizational commitment differs between junior and middle rank employees well no there is no significant difference in organizational commitment between junior and middle rank employees but there is a significant difference in junior and senior level employees now again you see that there is a repetition of results because obviously junior middle or middle senior is the same thing the difference would still be the same but middle and senior this is a new difference yes this is also significant now again this is a repetition of the previous results so you do not need to repeat uh, these now we've got our results how do we report these results in 
a word document now in order to do this obviously we have written our problem we have done our hypothesis and before you do anything just briefly explain your hypothesis in this case the hypothesis tests if the organizational commitment of employees differ across different management levels participants were divided into three groups group 1 junior group 2 middle and group 3 senior level employees the anova results suggest that organizational commitment scores of the groups differ significantly so there are significant differences in organizational commitment across the groups because in the anova table we had the p value here it's less than 0.001 your f value is 9.248 and this is your degree of freedom so you just copy these results here 2223 22, 2238 f value and significance value here next up you assess your levine statistic which in this case was significant so we used dunnet t3 now then we move to assess the mean the test indicated that the mean score for junior level employees this is the mean score where is the mean score it is here in the descriptives here junior 4.87 this is the standard deviation 4.87 1.37 was significantly different from senior level employees so what was the mean score for senior level employees and the middle level employees had significant difference from the senior level employees so this is how you explain your significant differences between each of the categories obviously how do you know that there are significant differences between the categories here it is junior middle junior senior middle junior middle senior so this is how you know whether or not there are significant differences between the categories and finally the mean differences were significant at 0.05 level however no significant differences were detected between junior and middle level employees now you report your results in a table like this sure you can refer to your table in the text as well and you should actually So what we do is we first mention the groups the mean value for each group the standard deviation the levin statistics its significance and overall and over results and finally we do multiple comparisons or report the multiple comparisons junior middle the mean difference is this it's significant and now this is the 95% confidence interval there is no zero in between this shows that the results are significant that is the difference between junior and senior level employees pertinent to their organizational commitment is significant same is the case with middle and senior level employees as well i hope this particular tutorial would have helped you understand the concept of one way anova and how to report one way anova thank you very much